So now it's the time for us to go into factorization. So in any factorization problem, any, the first step is to look for common factors. So I've got here three examples in which we just have solving those problems, factorizing those problems, is simply looking for common factors. So let's observe this um, first one here. Okay, so I've got AB and minus 2BC. Even though I don't know the values, um, if A is, let's say, 3, and B is 5, this is 3 times 5. And then, regardless of C, I will have this B multiplied, which could be 5, um, on both terms. So B is a common factor. I've got, I've got B multiplying both sides, so I can um, collect B as a common factor. And then, what do I have else in the first the first um, term here, I've got A. That's everything I've got um, left. Um, and then minus 2, C. Remember that every time we factorize, if we expand, we should get back to our result. So take a look. If I expand back B times A, I would have BA, which is the same thing as AB. And if I expand the second term, a minus 2c times b, minus 2bc, also the order does not matter. So there we go. Um, the first problem would be that, would be this. Now, second one here, I've got 3y squared minus 6xy. So I will, I will put a middle step here, which is not necessary. If you can see straight away, all right, um, you, don't, you don't have to do this. I'm just doing this to show all of you, all right, um, what do I have there, okay? The multiplication sign here is, is not a very good choice, so let's, let's, just, um, let's just change this to 2 times 3, I'll put a very small x here, okay? Because the dot, you might presume that it's a, um, a comma separator. All right, so take a look. I've got terms 3 and y repeated in both, in both of those terms. So I can collect those. So I would have 3y, and then here in the first one, what do I have left? y. On the second item that I had here, what do I have left? Minus 2x. And that's it. That's done. So far, so good. Now, the last one, first thing that we can observe, both terms are negative. So I know that whatever I factorize will be negative. Now, 2 and 4, well, 4 is 2 times 2, so I know there's a 2. And also x squared and x, so I've got 1x. Now, let's see, what do I have to multiply negative 2x to get negative 2x squared? x, simply x. The second one here, what do I have to multiply negative 2x to get to get negative 4x? It's positive 2. I simply multiply, multiply it by 2. It's twice this value, isn't it? So if I multiply by 2, I get back um, to my negative 4x. Remember, you can always check your answer by expanding, right? So let's see. Let's, let's do this, all right? I've been telling you to do it. So let's do it as well. So what if we expand back? In the first term here, I've got BA, the first item, the first example, and here negative 2BC or CB. If I rearrange, this is AB minus 2BC. So we have gone back to, to what we had before. This one, let's see, 3Y times Y, that's 3Y squared and 3y times negative. Now, 3 times negative 2, that's negative 6, x, y. And we got back to what we had before. Here, same thing, this is equal, right? So equal, negative 2x times x, negative 2x squared. Negative 2x times 2, negative 4x. So there we go. We can always get back to our original um, problem just by expanding it back again. 
and that might be a good way for you to um, for you to check if you're insecure that your result is, is the right one. Well, this is a good recap of the first procedure which you're gonna, which you're gonna find in any factorization um, problem. That's the first step. You might not have common factors. That's that's not a problem. Before you have to use the the others the other methods that we have been dealing with um, um, in the lessons. But this is the first thing that you have to check. The first thing that you must do is check for common factors. And if there's no common factor, that's fine. You can move forward.